Hi everyone, I'm Olivia Carline, a QuickSight Solutions Architect looking after Australia and New Zealand. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an overlay visual in Amazon QuickSight. Amazon QuickSight is a scalable, serverless, machine learning powered business intelligence service that's built for the cloud. You can leverage QuickSight to deliver easy to understand insights to the people who you work with, wherever they are. In this particular demonstration, I am going to be using one of the QuickSight sample data sets, sales pipeline, to create a visual that uses an overlay of a thermometer to help us understand our revenue compared to our $200 million target for the year 2016. But before I begin by creating an overlay visual, I want to take a look at an existing overlay dashboard in our demo central. In the example you can see on the screen here, we have a dashboard that talks us through some HR information within an organization. On our page, we have a table on the right that shows HR details about a few of our employees, including their job level, their business function, region, as well as other details. To the left, you can see we have a selection of this information shown in a vertical bar chart with an image overlaid on top. This visual is currently showing us all of the employees by job level. We have this information in a much more easily accessible manner as a percent of a person. We can play around with the controls to search based on geography or gender and watch as the data changes below this image. You can see how this visual makes accessing and understanding that information much more digestible than, than scrolling through the table we have to the right of it. Now we know what an overlay visual looks like. Let's take a look at creating one ourselves. Let's begin by navigating to the QuickSight console. Once we are in the QuickSight console, we're going to click on data sets in the menu on the left here. Let's click in to our sample data set, sales pipeline, and this will open up a pop-up. And from here, we can click on create analysis. This takes us to a brand new empty analysis. Once we are in here, the first thing we need to do is actually enable the high fidelity option in order for us to be able to overlay our visuals. To do this, we need to click on settings at the bottom of our menu here. Once we are in settings, you will see under authoring mode, we have the option to enable high fidelity. When we turn on this capability, we'll be able to overlay our visuals as well as start to leverage free form layout and be able to customize our dashboards through more options of spacing and placement of visuals. Once we slide the high fidelity button to on, we need to make sure that we apply these changes by clicking on the apply bottom down here. You can see that now we've enabled this feature, the background of our analysis has changed to a grid and we're now able to drag our existing empty autograph visual to different places on the page. Next up, we're going to actually start building our visual. So let's click on the visualize button at the top of our menu here. This will open up our data set list of fields. And from here, we can access all of the fields within our data set and to begin building out our visual. In this instance, we are going to click on two fields. We want to see the weighted revenue totals for each of our regions. In order to do this, we will click on the weighted revenue field, as well as the region field. By default, this will create a horizontal bar chart, but we will switch this to a vertical bar chart by clicking on the vertical bar chart option at the top of our visual types here. Currently, 
our visual is showing us the revenue across all of the years in the data. But we only want to be able to see the revenue for 2016. So to do this, we need to create a, a date filter. We can create this filter by clicking on the filter option here in our menu. Then we need to create a filter by clicking create one. And we will be filtering on date to only show the data in the 2016 year. So we will click on date here as a filter filter. And then we will be now configure what the filter should look like. So we will keep this as a date and time range between, but we only want to see data from the first day of 2016. So we will change our start date to being January 1st, 2016 and changing our end date to be the very last day of the year. So we will go down to the 31st of December, 2016. We also want to make sure that we include any data from the final day. So we will click on include end date here. Again, in order for this change to apply, we need to make sure that we do click the apply button. This has now filtered down our data to only showing any data or any revenue that occurred in 2016. In order to make this visual stand out a bit more, we are going to overlay our thermometer images. This will allow us to see how our revenue compares to our $200 million target. To add an image, we first need to click on the add icon at the top of our analysis here. In the drop down that appears, we will click on Add Insight. Choosing Insight will bring up this pop up box where we can choose from a selection of different computations, including computations such as bottom ranked and minimum. We can also choose to include some of our machine learning insights, such as forecasting or anomaly detection. In this case, we aren't going to select any computations, but instead close this pop-up, taking us back to our analysis. You can see we now have a blank insight on our analysis. In order to make this a visual, we will click on the blue Customize Insight that we can see here. This will take us to the Edit Narrative page. In this page, we'll click on the image icon here above our free field text selection. And for this demonstration, I have created an image that uses three thermometers with a transparent background that I've uploaded and saved to my own S3 bucket. In this edit narrative page, we are able to see a preview of what our image will look like. If we're happy with this, we can click save and move on to the next stage. In order to actually overlay this image on top of our visual chart that we have here, we first need to do some editing. We'll click on the format visual icon to the right of our visual. And from here, we will uncheck the show title option we will also click on style to open up the drop down menu and click on hide background as well as unclick show border. Our transparent image should now look like this. All that is left to do now is to drag our image and place it above our visual that we want to showcase. We'll just make sure we have it aligned on top of our data and maybe a little bit higher, like so. And there you have it, a very easy and effective overlaid visual that makes it easy for us to see how our revenue for our regions compares to our $200 million target. For more examples of how an overlaid visual can be leveraged, Take a look at our Demo Central, which we looked at earlier, 
that shows some more examples of overlaid visuals. In particular, a dashboard focusing on house prices in Seattle, as well as the employment information dashboard we looked at previously. Thank you for watching this video.